Welcome back to another edition of Tea and Toys. We've got again another 40th anniversary of the Star Wars Retro Collection with Return of the Jedi. Six new figures. So who have we got? Let's have a good old rundown. So we've got the Gamorrean Guard. I think it was quite sought after in the 80s, so it's great to see him back again. Or Fry Tuck, should I say. Haha. <laughs> um, put comments if you know the reference about that. Admiral Ackbar actually never had an Admiral Ackbar in the original toy line, so it'd be great to have him in the collection for the first time. Yak Face. Now, I believe Yak Face was actually was it Power of the Force release originally and never Return of the Jedi release, so it's great for those of us that never even had the opportunity to get a Yak Face back in the 80s. It was only released in Canada, from what I know, so it's great to see him available for those of us that can't afford two grand for one. And then we get Wicket W. Warwick. I actually did have this one as a kid, so it's great to see him back and and to see some Ewoks representation. Although I would have liked if they had done him with in the same like the two pack box sets they were doing with like they did with the Bounty Hunters, if they did him with the cartoon version. Hey, that's just me. That's how how I'd like these crazy things to be released. And we get one of the Imperial Royal Guard. Again, a great figure. Had it uh, as a kid, so. Great to have another one on the shelf. And yes, I did not miss out the figure there. A brand new one. Now, this is what the Retro Collection should be all about. The classic Star Wars stuff with those characters that were never originally produced from that original line and to sit nicely with the rest of our Kenner Star Wars collection. Now, I'm not solely against some of the Disney Star Wars stuff that they've done. Like So far, I've picked up all the original characters that they've done of them but I do want to see more of the original 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 vintage no I won't say vintage because that's what the black series no no that's a different line so you get confused with all these Star Wars lines the original line see this is retro see so yeah it's great to see her um, I'll get a closer look at each one and as you can see it's one of those dreaded box sets which means it's a Disney store and a Hasbro Pulse exclusive Quite frustrating that they're not releasing some of these figures mass retail from the original trilogy, like the RTD2 set. They didn't do. They're not doing this one by the looks of it. Or to be fair, we don't actually 100% know that. But it being one of these box sets, likely it's stuck on Hasbro Pulse. And the retailers get littered with Disney Star Wars characters, which. To be fair, they do not sell. So let's have a back run through. We haven't done this run through in a while, so we've had wave one. Then we had a new Hope box set two. Sorry, left the question mark on there. Whoops, my bad. So again, the unused aliens and droids from Star Wars. So it'd be good to see those. Yes, I still want to see the blue tall Snaggletooth. No reason why they can't do him. And then from the Empire Strikes Back, wave which was originally wave two. And Boba Fett was re-released as an Amazon release. So you've got like four figures there they could redo. And then more of the heroes they haven't done from The Empire Strikes Back. The villains, you can see, Amazon exclusives with the bounty hunters. Again, these, those guys would have sold singly on the shelves. I don't know these weird decisions why they keep throwing these original... Vin, uh, yeah, original, sorry. I <laughs> keep, keep slipping in to say vintage. The original toy line characters as exclusives. It's insanity. I, I don't fully understand why they're doing that. But so yeah, we've got more Imperials from the Empire Strikes Back. So obviously Wave 6, we've hopefully all received now. With oh, there, Admiral Akbar. And what people didn't tell me is I actually missed off Admiral Akbar from this picture sl slide that I've been doing. So any of those watching it, you should have put a comment there to tell me that I've done something wrong. <laughs> so yeah, Admiral Akbar's finally on it. And there's the rest of the aliens and Endor humans. And then also got the Jabba the Hutt scene. First one there. Gamorrean Guard is in. And that leaves us with, what's it, five of the original Return of the Jedi Ewoks to be released, plus an ATST guard. And then we go to the Power of Force heroes. Again, I think a lot of us are really wanting them to do the Luke Skywalker. And they have to do the Sebastian Shaw, Anakin Skywalker, because that's how he should look. In the film, I do not like that changed bloody Hayden Christensen. What are they doing there? Absolute insanity. So yeah, definitely have to do the Sebastian Shaw. And if they do do the Power of the Force line, they do like five more of these type characters or slip them into other waves, 
they've got to do Han Solo as the Stormtrooper. It's got to be done, right? And then, yes, we are finally getting Yak Face. For those of us that didn't get a Yak Face, we're getting one now. So, yeah, our first... So I'll go back to that one. Our first Power of the Force character, finally. And then, yes, I still want to see the droids representation and the Ewoks. And if they can do it, the prototypes. So I know Mr. Steve Evans has shown off some of these pictures on his um, Instagram page. Not to say that they will be done, but I did make a point. And I would make it a comment to say, you need to do these, Steve. <laughs> so, yep, yep, there she is. New one coming soon. There we are, the other ones. The ones that sit on shelves. Oh, and that is a cat who wants food. So don't forget to love, like, subscribe, and see you guys and girls in the next video.